Yeah, let's uh, let's kick it. My name is Alin Lazar. Um, I represent a tiger. I've been working in online distribution for some time. Our job is to make sure travelers are finding and booking your hotel wherever and whenever they search. I'm going to take the next few minutes to talk about the distribution landscape. I know distribution is not as sexy as revenue management, but it's actually vital for securing revenue, increasing occupancy, and attracting desired guests. In 2021, we've conducted a research together with some of our top partners, and we'll share some of the results in the next slides. The constantly changing market restrictions have pushed hotels towards a more agile strategy, which led to the need of a more dynamic online distribution. We identified a much more clear tendency to balance and simultaneously manage price, booking windows, and cancellation policies. When it comes to managing cancellation policies, one of the reasons for skipping on them was the hassle of aligning the different OTAs, which led to many properties to just avoid the complications in managing the listings in multiple channels. The data we got, it's showing that the cancellation rate dropped by 17%, and, and this is year on year, um, and now is, is almost back to pre-COVID levels. Hence, it might be time to have flexible policies um, so you could take advantage of bookers' interest for flexible rates with a lower risk of cancellation. If your market is still behaving slightly different and you know, your, your fear is about not having enough time to get another booking if it gets canceled, it's an understandable fear and hence it should be mixed in a dynamic way uh, with non-refundable policies as well. And if you're still worried about it and if you usually get fully booked, it might be the right time to, to overbook. The thing is that the, the hassle of managing policies in a dynamic and agile way like made us see the need of an enhanced distribution engine, which would englobe not only availability, rates and inventory, but a much wider scope. Our research has shown that managing promotions across multiple channels suppose complications as well. And the normal behavior is to just lower the price from the channel manager. And that's not a very good practice. And it leaves opportunities on the table and you know, not taking the advantage of the exposure channels are offering. We believe the industry is, is going towards integrating promotions as well and you know, making it a basic feature within the distribution landscape. And actually, Agoda, Booking, um, Expedia, um, Go, uh, Ibibo, for example, they have all released their promotions API and integrated them with some channel managers. Despite of still being in very low levels, we believe price promotions will go back to pre-COVID levels as well. And actually think hotels learned from the 2008 crisis and did not drop their prices like crazy. And you know, having decent prices will actually enable the reactivations of promotions as well. It might still take a while to go back to the same level, uh, you know, because promotions are usually linked to non-refundable rates, which yeah, lately they are avoided by bookers. But on the other hand, non-refundable rates bring immediate revenue and, and cash is now oxygen. And from our data, the share is still half of what used to be. So from our point of view, what we recommend is to not go crazy and, and just create promotions without a strategy. Um, you know, perhaps there is no point in promoting the, the price in markets um, from where you already have good demand, but you might want to think about creating some specific country promotions. You know, or, or certain market promotions. Um, and one last fact related to distribution is that almost all channels have lately migrated from room price to occupancy price. And experiments are showing that not having a tailored solo traveler price results in 5% drop in conversion for solo travelers and 3% drop in overall conversions. The research done by Booking.com was showing that properties that set a different price for occupancy, they see a potential increase of 3% uh, in revenue 
and by specifying different prices per occupancy, they can reach more people in the search result, um, making it easier to just fill up bigger rooms. All right, so the, the key takeaway points um, from, from this um, Pecha Kucha, um, cancellation rate is almost back to normal. So it's time to manage policies in a more dynamic way. Promotions are already part of the distribution landscape and um, rate personalization actually starts with occupancy prices and the entire industry is going into that direction. Thank you for your attention. Anne-Marie, uh, back to you.